hey guys welcome back to another video so in this particular video for today we're going to be doing something very fancy and you know it's front-end related and it's basically just we implementing dark mode in a react application now you would notice that you know these days most of the applications you see out there are applications that you have to toggle between light mode or, or light layout and dark layout you know and those kind of ui related stuff and it's a very nice feature trust me because you know um it gives you your know, users sense of interactiveness that okay some users that could be a lover of you know dark layouts and some for light layouts and today's video is just going to be giving you like a very fast and simple approach to implement dark mode in a react application it's going to be a quick one it's going to be something very straightforward we're going to be using tailwind and react and yeah let's just go straight into the video all right so um i've created a very simple react application and i've already you know gone through the process of installing tailwind so that we don't have to do like all of that again and then um, because that's not the focus of you know the tutorial or this video it's just basically to show you how to implement dark mode and um, it's the normal way just go ahead and create a new react application using vit or whatever um, one you want to use and um, add tailwind to the project and you know you have something like this so now if you look at this you will be getting um, this as your as what we have in our browser and that's basically because that's what we got here in the app.jx or gsx rather and then um, now we'll go ahead to you know create the whole process behind the dark mode now the first thing i would want to do is basically to um inside of the source i want to create a folder called the hooks because i'm going to be creating a reusable hook and the name of the hook i'm going to be creating is going to be use i'm just going to call it use app mode toggler and it's just going to be a gsx file also and inside of here i'm just going to have use app mode toggler i'll return this for now let me just export default use app mode toggler now inside of the return statement i would basically just be returning two things but before we go ahead to return anything i just want to show you what's going on here now the first thing i want to do here is create a state that holds our team and that team would be set to you know um it's going to be set to the local storage team value so we're going to have a local storage dot team and it's going to be set to this or we're setting it to dark mode at default now that's what we're going to do now before we go ahead to do this lest i forget we need to go inside of the tailwind configuration file and add our dark mode class because that's what tailwind understand so for the dark mode there are two ways you can be able to implement the dark mode in tailwind you can use the class you know process or the, or the second one which is the media so for in our own case we're going to be using the dark mode and the class process so for our dark mode we're just going to call this class so which means we're going to be applying our dark mode which is the dark property as a class you know to whatever elements or whatever function or whatever data which is we want to have now we have this now we'll go back to the um, toggler and inside of the toggler all we just need to continue doing here is we've created a team and we've set the team to the value coming from the local storage and if there is no value we use dark as the default value now the next thing we want to do here is create a variable that's called color team and i would set it to say if the team value is dark then it means we're going to switch the color team from dark to light else we'll leave it as dark so what this basically means is if the value coming from the team state happens to be dark then there is no need having the value of the color team as dark it needs to be the reverse or the inverse which is light and if that's not the case we have it as what well as dark 
now we have this now in our use effect which means once the page gets loaded the first thing we want to do is we want to check the window the document the document element so which means we want to check the root document and we're going to add a class list and remove the exact color team which we have at the moment and go ahead to add the team now i'll show you what this means basically what we're trying to do here is we're going to remove the current value which the body element has which is the body tag and we are going to be putting in the new value and our use effect is going to be having a dependency of team and color team so which means this is going to happen for every time there is a change of value on the team and the color team and here we also need to set the local storage to the new value that is being assigned so which means we set the local storage team value to team now you might be wondering you know what does this mean i'm going to show you in very soon so our return statement is going to be going to be returning color team and set team because we're going to be using it in a different you know component now this is what we have as our hook which is a reusable hook a custom hook which we've created now we're going to be using this hook inside of our components you know inside of our component level now the first thing i want to do here is import the hook so use app mode toggler is going to be imported as a custom hook and we're going to have inside of here we're going to have the color team and the set team and these two things are going to be coming from the use app mode toggler because remember that we had it in exported here or returned rather from this hook the color team and the set team so which means we can be able to use them inside of the components where we try to make use of the custom hook which we've created and we're going to in, in, introduce a new state called dark side and set dark side and we're basically just going to make it use state and call this if the color team value is light then our dark side is true or false that's the condition we're going to be using then one more condition we want to set is to toggle the dark mode that is when you click on the button or you know whatever icon you, you want to click on you have to switch between the light and the dark now inside of the toggle dark mode the first thing we want to do is set color team and um, set team rather we're going to set team to color team value and we're going to set dark side to its inverse property so which means if dark side was true it becomes false and if it's false it becomes true because that's the way we're going to have that thing so inside of here i'm just going to introduce um i'm going to introduce um a an xvg icon that allows us to toggle like a sun and a moon icon i think i have that somewhere let me get it just for us to you know uh, this is the first icon let's get this one and this is the second icon Now we've got two icons and I'm um, just going to take this same class here and also take this same function that we have here. So now what exactly am I doing? This is going to be false. Now if I reload this page, I'm going to see something like this. Now we've got two icons, one in, one, in, um, one showing us it's a sun and one showing us it's a moon. Let me just change the class of the icon so that it can be more visible and increase the size also. 
so this is just going to be increased a little and also change that to something so I'm trying to see where we can change okay let me just make this black so that it can be more visible let me also make this text black let's see what it looks like now all right cool yeah so this is fine now you know we need to know which of them shows up at what time so if the page is on light mode then it basically means that we need to show the moon because the moon would be clicked to take the page to dark mode and if the page is on dark mode we would have to show the sun which we can be able to click to switch the page to light mode and that's where this condition will take place so inside of here we need to toggle which of the buttons shows up so if we don't have a dark side then we go ahead to show the first button or the first icon whatever it is you want to call it and else we go ahead to show the second icon so just to be sure that our logic is correct let's see what this looks like now if we go inside here we're seeing this because we are on light mode so which means when we click on this it needs to you know switch to this you can see that you can see the toggle works but now you'll be surprised the background still doesn't work and that's the next thing we're going into now that's where the dark mode class that we used in the tailwind config comes into play now for you to use the dark mode in the class process all you need to do is just specify the dark you know prefix and apply whatever class you want to apply but just to make it look more readable and more visible i'll create a div that has um, a little bit of width and a little bit of height and just apply a border just to be sure that we've got you know something showing up and i'll just put this here let me see what it looks like and now we should get this yeah so we're getting this but i'm just gonna make it look a bit more bigger so this should be full and this should be 32 yeah that's fine we don't have any issue with that um let me see yeah so this is fine this is okay we don't need something too much now inside of here i want to make the the background of the div to be a dark background when we're on the dark mode so which means i'm going to apply the dark and say when we're on dark mode i want the background to be you know grayish and when we're on light mode i want it to be white now let's see if that works now we're on the light mode and it's this and if we change it you can see the background changes if we take it back to light mode it goes off if we take it to dark mode it changes and just imagine that or picture that within your whole application all you need to do is whatever element or whatever tag or whatever syntax you need to carry a different style when on dark mode you just have to apply the dark property to it now let's do the same thing for the text because you find that that you find out that the text doesn't show up on dark mode so here i'm just going to say when the text is on dark mode I want to make it a white text and if I try that you can see it's a white text if it's on light mode if it's it's this if it's on dark mode it's this and now this is just a very simple thing you can use dark mode to do you know you can apply dark mode to your dashboard to your website to your application mobile app whatever it is you want to apply it to but this tutorial or this particular video is just to give you an a detailed explanation and a detailed approach as to how to simply integrate dark mode into your application now you can see the process we took was very minimal and simple we implement we integrated a tailwind into the application we created a custom hook called the use app mode toggler which allows us to set the value of the dark mode in the local storage and you can see that clearly if we go back to our page and inspect this page and go to the applications and local storage 
you find out that the theme is dark when we switch it the theme is switched to light now the same thing happens in the element if you try to inspect the element you find out that the class is light and when it switches the class is dark now where does this thing happens it happens here at this point we are getting the root element which is the body wrapping everything and we're removing the current class which is which it's as and adding a new class and also saving the new class in the local storage which is the reason why for every click that happens here the value changes here and also changes here now that's that, that brings us like to the end of this if you feel nothing something was not covered or you feel you don't get something right drop it in the comment section i'm going to attend to that if you implemented this and you're not getting the exact same you know um results which we're getting then you might be doing something wrong also drop that in the comment section and i'll attend to that but if you have everything figured out properly the way we had it figured out you drop up a like comment subscribe to the channel share with others and you know turn on your post notification for other amazing videos that's going to be coming up and yeah i'll see you in the next video